Did that cause problems in their relationship? Not, not then, because I think they wound up paying them. Going back real quick to the drug shops, would you ever keep a firearm around the drug shop? Yes. Would you keep it on your person or would you keep it somewhere else? Lay it down. Where are some of the places you might lay it down? Like in yards, in pigeon coops, under pigeon coops, dug houses, vacant houses, mailboxes, car tires. Would you ever tell anybody where those firearms are located? Yes. Who would you tell? Like people that was working at drug shops. Okay. And why would you have a firearm like that? For protection. To protect the drugs? Yes. So are you sharing that firearm with other individuals that work at the drug shop? Yes. Did you ever share a firearm with Mr. Burnett? Yes. What type of firearm was it? A 40 caliber. Do you remember where that firearm was stashed? Under the pigeon coop or in it? It depends. In the back of the houses on Lafayette Avenue, 1300 block. Did you ever see Mr. Burnett with that firearm? Yes. On one occasion or more than one occasion? Or more than one. Are you familiar with a residence near 1315 Harlem or at 1315 Harlem? Yes. Do you know what type of residence it is? Apartment dwelling. Do you know if it's when you were, before you got locked up, do you know if it was occupied or if it was vacant? It was occupied. Do you know if Mr. Barnett or Terrell to ever use that residence? Yes. How do you know that? They be like the buildings that they be distributing, distributing out, out the hallway, out the vestibule of the hallway. Have you ever heard the term TTG? Yes. What does TTG stand for? Train to go. Do you associate TTG or train to go with any individuals in particular? Yes. Who's that? Montana. Anybody else? No. Why do you associate that with Montana? That was like his brand, his trademark. Do you know approximately when you first heard TTG associated with Mr. Burnett? 13 summer. Did you ever supply drugs to Mr. Burnett? Probably small amounts, not, not on no daily basis. Not anything significant? No. But you had a supplier, correct? Yes. In 2000, between 2013 and 2015, who were you being supplied by? A few different people. Who's that? Like Pee Wee, Weasel, and Demo. What was Demo supplying you? Heroin, marijuana. I'm showing you government's exhibit P6. Do you recognize that individual? Yes. Who's that? Demo. Do you know Demo by any other name? Dennis, cuz, you said he was supplying you both heroin and marijuana? Yes. How many times do you think you received heroin from Mr. Pully? Or from Dennis? Excuse me. Probably about. Objection. Speculation. I'm sorry? Objection. Speculation. He started the sentence with probably. Overruled. About how many times? Yes, sir. Eight to ten times. When you received heroin from Dennis, what were the quantities that you were buying? It varied. 75 to 100 grams. How much would you pay Dennis for 100 grams of heroin? Same 500. What was the least amount that you ever purchased from Dennis? Probably 50. And what was the most? A hundred. A hundred. And you think you did that about eight to ten times? Yes. How many times did you buy marijuana from him? Not much. A few.
Were you buying it for yourself or were you buying it to redistribute? Redistribute. So how much marijuana were you buying? A pound, two pounds. How many times do you think you did that? Probably three, four, a few. How much would a pound of marijuana cost? 2800 3100 at the most. When you were conducting those transactions, were they cash transactions? Yes. Would you do those transactions at one particular place or at different places? About two different places. Where were they? Downtown area, like between two hotels. And then the Fells Point area, like off of Ann Street, Sir Ann Street. When you say downtown, do you know specific streets or just downtown? Like by Utah Street. When you would get the between 50 and 100 grams of heroin from Dennis, how would it be packaged? Like in a sandwich bag, wrapped up, and selling it like saran wrap. So would it be already in the gel caps? No. That's your job? Yes. Okay. And you said wrapped up in cellophane? Yes. Would he just hand you the? No. Ball of cellophane? No. What would he hand it to you in? He'd get in a car with us. It would be in like a Whole Foods bag. How about the marijuana? The couple times you bought it, how was that packaged? Ziploc bag. When you were purchasing heroin from Dennis, did you ever run into Mr. Barnett? Yes. How many times? Once or twice. Okay. Was Mr. Barnett meeting with Dennis as well? Yes. Did Mr. Barnett ever talk to you about being supplied by Dennis? Yes. What did he say? I mean, that he might go meet him. Or sometimes I'd be in the car with him and he'd be on the phone talking to him. What would they talk about? Where to meet at and like what he want, languages, and his language. What do you mean by that? His language. Your Honor, object to the foundation. Overruled. What do you mean by his language? Like talking in street language and street terms about what they want or what he try and get. So if you're talking to Dennis about buying heroin, you're not calling him and saying, I want 100 grams of heroin, please, right? No. What are some of the terms that you use to refer to heroin? Like boy, blow, smack, and like quantities wise, it would be like yams, gremlins, jiffies. Ever hear heroin referred to as dub food? Yes. What about marijuana? What are some of the street terms used to describe marijuana? Grass, loud, raggy. Have you ever heard the term onion? Yes. What's an onion? Ounce. An ounce of any particular drug? Yes. What? Marijuana, but it's just a quantity, 28 grams. How about a Vic? Have you ever heard that term? Yes. And what's a Vic? Seven grams. Is that seven grams of a particular drug or any drug? Any narcotic, but it's more particular with marijuana. So you typically hear it more with marijuana than anything else? Yes. Okay. You mentioned that you would keep a firearm at your drug shop. Would you call it a gun? Would you call it a firearm or something else? Joint, hammer, tone, jiffy, jimmy mag. Now... You mentioned that Jiffy sometimes is used to refer to a quantity of drugs. Is that right? Yeah. So it can also mean a firearm? Yeah. What about a Jimmy Mac? Are there other... No. Designations for that other than a gun? No. Have you ever heard the term ladder? Yes. What's a ladder? Like an extended magazine that comes out the bottom of the firearm? Do you know any other terms for an extended magazine? Like a leg, stick? I'd like to show you Government's Exhibit P-14. Do you recognize that individual? Yes. 
Who is that? Be easy.